welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm going to be showing you like the best bits of my wardrobe really. Things that I've had for years or something that I feel like everyone needs. And I've got like, I've tried and tested, these are the best ones that I've found. Um, I were meant to be having like two hauls this week, but one parcel's gone missing and the other one's not coming until next week. So I thought I'll just show you what I've already got. <laughs> Ace is just walking around if you can hear his little paws. Oh, he's just dropped down there. Can you see him? Oh. It's so hot, bless him. There we go. Right, so I thought I'd start with just a basic outfit. I don't know, is this camera zoomed in? I'm gonna have to tilt it down to show you my leggings as well. So I feel like this is just like the base that I can use a lot of outfits from. So my top's from Zara. I'll try and link like most things in the description box, but obviously, because I've had some things for a while, they'll probably, maybe they will be, maybe they won't be in stock. So if not, I'll try and find something similar. But this top, I've had this a few years, literally wear it every week, probably every few days. It's just the best thing ever. It's ribbed, it's comfy, and it just goes with everything. These leggings, I feel like everyone needs a good pair of black leggings. These are just from Ursimi. I'll link them below. I got sent them with a matching sports one. They're actually like the best quality leggings that I've got. Um, but should we just start with like jackets and stuff so I can just throw it over these, can't I? So I've gone for more of a like a summery vibe, but still quite warm because obviously we live in England, don't we? So I'll just show you some of my Let's start simple. A black blazer. I feel like if you've not got a black blazer, then what do you even wear? Because I live in mine. This one is from Naked Fashion and the quality is unreal. Can you see that? The size fits me perfect. I like everything way too big for me. But just a little close up so you can see it's like thick, it's really good quality. But I feel like with jeans, with a top, just I wear this a lot as well, fastened. I just put some little shorts underneath just because it's not... Can you see the bottom? Yeah. Because it is long enough, but I feel like I just like my shorts underneath just for a bit of security. Just with some heels and then you've got yourself an outfit. I got this in a 40 because they're quite weird size and I think it must be like a different country. In the middle, but yeah, this literally fits perfect. So, if you want in a black blazer and a good one, I've had this a few years now and it's lasted a bit. Wash is perfect, you don't need to iron it, which is perfect. So, I can't iron, I need to get a steamer. And then, I literally have a hundred blazers because I live in them, like all the colorful ones. But I thought I'd just show you like my staple ones. So I've got a black, a nude, and a grey one to show you. This is from Naked Fashion as well, again in a size 40. But I just feel like this, with just a plain black set, just your leggings and a top, and then with another wardrobe staple of mine, my Yeezy slides. Now they are a bit dirty, because if anybody knows how you like clean these, please let me know, because a wipe just does not seem to do anything. But these, I live in with no socks, with socks, going out somewhere nice or just taking the dog on a walk and never ever take them off. When I first got them, they were a bit, I think they rubbed just a little bit because I were on holiday, but now they're the comfiest things ever. Let me just tilt you down. You don't want to get the, the Yeezy ones. They do a lot of like copies, don't they, and dupes, like ego and stuff. But, oh, just this, how easy is this outfit? A little gym set, some socks and a blazer. And you've got yourself a cute outfit with a little bag. Oh, actually, I've not got any bags. I'll have to grab some, but yeah, love it. And then my last blazer that I'm going to show you. I've left the coloured ones out, but they are so easy, aren't they? The blazer is just the easiest thing to style. You don't need anything. But the grey one, oh, this one's my new favourite. This one's from Motel Rocks. How have I not had a grey blazer before? I've only had this one maybe a month or a few weeks now. And it's just, I think this is my new favourite one. I wore this 
if you've seen my other video when the girls came with a little black like top and shorts and then some like grandad sandals and my Louis Vuitton bum bag and that was just the best outfit but yeah this one's probably a bit thinner than the others but I still love it and what size did I get this in? in a large just so it's nice and oversized but yeah so they're my three blazers top three if you want to see my coloured ones then let me know because I've got literally hundreds but they're the ones that I thought I'd show because they're my literal favourites um, let's just get the jackets out of the way shall we and then I'll move on to my denim and stuff after so the next thing that I always wear is a leather jacket I feel like this is another staple like even this outfit with my Yeezy slides you can't stop. I've got nowhere else to like stand you. If you move it a bit further back. I still can't see you. Right? <laughs> Let me just tilt it down. You okay? But, yeah. I just feel like it's such a cool outfit. And again, leather jacket you can wear it with anything. But as it gets colder, I like to wear mine with jumpers underneath. And it just brings a bit of something extra. This one I got from TK Maxx. Got a bit of a bargain because I'm sure it... I think I got it for about £15 and I'm sure it reduced from quite quite a bit more. That's the brand in case anybody's interested. And then obviously because it was TK Maxx they just have like a few one-off random things don't they? The other size were a 3XL but it fits perfectly how I wanted to. And then I just thought I'd include this one. It's not really a wardrobe staple because I've only just bought it but if you're after a leather jacket Primark have done these ones for that. I think it's in the new collection. They've got a black one as well, which I've bought for mum. £14 they are. And I picked up this one. How cute is this? It's just a bit something different, isn't it? It's like a, a light grey. It's got a bit of a blue tinge to it, but... But this is a size 20. A UK 20. And I'm normally a 10. So obviously the sizing is tiny, which is quite bad to be honest, because it's not going to fit everyone, but if you're similar size to me, I'd definitely go up a good few sizes. A trench. So I've got a H&M trench that I've lived in the past two years, and that's more of a, like a beige colour, which is my favourite, but I thought I'd show you this one. From Primark again, this was £40, so a bit more expensive, but this is more of a khaki colour. And it's a bit lighter than my other one, so it's better for while we're still in like summer. But oh my god, let me tilt you down again. Again, so it's more oversized. So I just want to show you this because it's new in Primark at the minute, and I live in trenches. Like when I go and watch Liam play football, and I want to still look a bit cool, but it's just so effortless. You can chuck this on and you just look put together. I feel like it's so smart. It's just having you for water. Um, but yeah, and I like the back bit there. I just think it's really classy, isn't it? And then literally just over again, a plain black set. And it's perfect. So this is more of a summer thing on holiday. Over your bikini, with some denim shorts and a little bikini top. It needs an iron because it has just been washed. But I thought I'd just show you. I prefer linen shirts because I feel like the normal like white shirts, when, as soon as they get a crease in you can just know it straight away. Whereas obviously right now this doesn't need an iron, but when it's creased like it's not as noticeable. But again just with this outfit. And this one is from Zara and a large again. I got this quite a while ago but they always seem to bring out linen shirts and you can get them from anywhere. You know the Lululemon? I think it's like an American brand or something. Can you remember when that was trending on TikTok? Like the jacket that gives you the BBL effect. So it was just meant to like cinch you in. Well, when I went on Shein, I think I've had this a good few months now. Um, I saw this. Oh, it needs folding around. That's it. So it does have thumb holes. But does anybody else feel claustrophobic if you use thumb holes? I don't know what it is. I like my hands to be free. But it does have thumb holes if you like that, but you can't tell if you don't wear them. Um, 
I'll link this one because I'm sure they'll still have it. But, oh my God, this, for the price. But when I fasten this up, like look at the shape that it gives you. And I feel like I just look a lot more put together when I'm walking the dog. I feel good in it. I feel like a housewife. <laughs> but I just love it. I feel it's so flattering as well. And it's got pockets so I can put my poo bags in. But yeah. And they've got zips on as well. So I put my house key in my poo bags. And I'm ready to go. Just walking the dog down the street. But honestly, if you get this, just like what an outfit. This and my leggings. I just feel like you just look so expensive with some black sunglasses on. These. I'll link these below. I'm sure that they're always sold out, but well, they used to be anyway. And now they've got like different colours. So they've got, I've seen the ones with the green N, which is really nice. And I think they've got like a pinky one, but these are just like the original. They're like grey and got some black and then a bit of navy inside but they're literally perfect they come for your shoes over the new balance 530s and they just go with literally everything every one of them outfits i've just shown you with the jackets they would go with i live in these come for your shoes i own the most versatile shoes i own because you can literally wear them every single day and yeah i'm just obsessed so again swapping out the leggings for some jeans i could have worn any one of them outfits and they would have looked nice but my favorite jeans are these ones from zara so they're a bit different to your like classic jeans because they have got this like detailing which is on the bum as well but i love them i love it's the perfect denim color they fit perfect and as well i hate wearing jeans that are too tight for me i like to size up so they're a bit more loose and comfy because as soon as you sit down Oh my god, it's not comfy, is it? But these ones, these are perfect. What size? I got these in medium, I think. And then I'll just tell you the code for this in case you want them. If I can find it. Yes, I don't know if that's the code, but. Where are we? That bit there. That's the only number that's on it. But can you just see the fit? Like how the perfect length. I'm five foot seven with heels. They're literally like perfect, they're still like just hovering above the floor. And with trainers, I don't find that they trail because you can just work your way around them, can't you? But they're still like, I feel like when you size up in your jeans, it makes you look skinnier. Because I feel like when things look too tight and too small for you, it makes you look bigger than you are. So I always, with my trousers, try and get so the waistband is still like roomy because I feel like it gives the illusion that your waist is a little bit smaller than what it is and while i'm here i thought i'd show you these sunglasses so like you've seen in my other videos i do want the prada ones but these are literally the same but they were eight, i think they were eight pound from h&m but quite a while ago so i don't know if they still sell them but i feel like they just make you look a bit cooler i feel like a trench in jeans just looks so nice a trench jeans and some trainers you just can't beat it, can you? With my sunglasses on. You see? But, yeah. Um, let's stick with the denim. Oh my God, I need to show you my new outfit. Right, let me tell you the story. So, I saw, you know, Tasha from Love Island when she wore the double denim outfit and everyone went upset like crazy for it, didn't they? Well, that's from Zara. But when you stalk her Instagram after, she had that way before she went in the villa. So that were obviously out of stock. And it weren't like sign up for emails or anything. I think it's just completely gone. But I loved it, so I was so disappointed. But then when I was looking, I just went through the denim section and I saw this one. So we've got a little mini skirt, which I'm not a fan of this, to be honest. The, the buttons are so hard to fasten. But once you're in, it's perfect. And it's like, it is a mini skirt. It's not too long. It just fits me perfect. I've got a medium in that, which is my normal Zara size. And then the top. 
is like a little corset like this and obviously these buttons fasten which again is a bit of a struggle but i found a hack so if anybody has this top and struggles to get it on like i did get a normal hair bubble wrap it round just like put the button in the middle of it push the hair bubble through here pull it through and then as you're pulling it through the hair bubble will help you pull it through and i can literally put it on in like five seconds but before it was the biggest struggle ever let me show you my tiktok so you can actually see it a bit better but look at that and then to go with that so i feel like that denim skirt is a perfect denim skirt like fits perfect to i feel like denim skirts you can wear all year round to be honest can't you obviously in summer but then i like them in winter with some boots and i'll show you my favorite boots these again are from h&m i got an absolute bargain with these they were the last ones left and they were a size seven so i was like oh they'll never fit me because i'm normally like a five to six but more of a six and then i tried them on and they fit me perfect and i think they were like eight pound so i'm not sure if they still sell them because obviously that must have been like last sale but they are the comfiest boots you'll ever wear i will link some similar ones below but i have got my wear out of these so much you can wear them like a black blazer or just any blazer as a dress with these on and you've got yourself a perfect outfit um and then while we're talking about boots these are my new children a cowboy boot how have i not owned a cowboy boot since a few days ago when the girls came you look, i don't know if i put it in the vlog but i made a little tiktok um these are from stradivarius by the way um and i tried the black ones on amelia tried these ones on um oh, but i fell in love with this color and i've had my email signed up like since then and my size has just not been in stock but then it finally came in the other day so i'm like right just do it i weren't sure if i'm gonna get my wear from them but then when they came i put a few outfits together and i do really love them so i feel like definitely well i've got to keep them now i've worn them but i love them i wore this with the denim outfit and they look so nice some like suit trousers so i wore these with the black blazer and this top and my dunks and my Isabel Morant cap. I'll get a picture. I can't get it changed anymore because I'm literally like out of breath and sweating. It's so hot. What temperature is it? It's 28 degrees right now. So this is the outfit that I put together. So this is my naked fashion blazer and then these are the trousers for my trainer. A little me trying to be cool. But you can just see the vision, can't you? And then these trousers, just as a casual outfit, even just with like a plain vest top, a t-shirt tucked in, a sweatshirt in like when it's got a bit colder. But where are these from? Pull and bear and I've got my normal size, which is a medium. Just some black plain trousers. And yeah, I feel like you can make so many outfits with them as well. A good pair of denim shorts. See now these ones have been my absolute favorites, but they've broke. Like the zip has broke on them. Maybe mum can fix them, but they have saved me the time to be honest. I've had them ages. But they're just the perfect fitting shorts. So they're like like a mum. What are they called? Dad style shorts or mum style? I don't know. Let me move it down just so you can see like the length on me. But I feel like they just look a lot more classy. You've not got your bum cheeks hanging out like I normally would if I had normal shorts on. They come, obviously, I'd wear them about there. So my knee's there, so they, there's plenty of room so they don't look stupid. But I feel like they're so flattering because they're so like big and chunky. They make your legs look skinnier. Um, and they're honestly the best shorts ever. From Zara. Medium again. Have I got a... I don't know if this is the number for you, but just in case. I, I had a look before and I don't think they sell them anymore. Or if they do, they'll come up under that. But yeah, they look a bit like Levi's because they've got the 
like the tag on the back but and you'll see this if you want to try another dress on my Bershka haul video but this is just a little black dress everyone needs one in the wardrobe you never know when you're going to need to put it on you can wear this have I got a picture in this? Yeah, I've got a picture on my Instagram actually. This with the chunky Primark black thong, like flip flops. Ace is snoring. Um, you could wear it on holiday. You could wear it with some heels. And my favorite ever heels are these pretty little thing thong ones. The perfect length heel. Like literally I could wear these all night. My feet wouldn't hurt. They're so padded. Like this bit is so like, for my own comfort and yeah square toe so flattering love them when it comes to winter you can wear this with a blazer over and some boots and you still get yourself an outfit absolutely love this and this was from Bershka and it's in my haul and it's linked in that video as well a good short tracksuit set from Boohoo like I live in these like I said before when I'm walking in and stuff when it's like warmish outside. I don't want to wear a full tracksuit, so I like these short ones. And Boohoo do the best ones. They're so cheap. Like they wash nice. Like these have just been washed. I think this one might have a stain on, but it's my favourite one. Mmm, it smells nice. Um, got a little green writing on. I wear these all the time with some Nike socks, like long ones, and my New Balance. Or just like I've got some green dunks, so they sometimes come out as well. And then that's the sweatshirt. Don't know if they still sell this one, but if you go on Boohoo and go on the short tracksuits, I promise you, you'll find something. They are the best ones. And Boohoo is one of the videos that I went to be filming, but that's the parcel that's gone missing. I'll forgive them because they do make the best tracksuits ever. Yeah, I feel like that's everything in my wardrobe, to be honest, that like, I couldn't live without. I'll have probably watched this back and be like, oh, I can't believe I forgot that or whatever, but from the, like when I was just looking for it, I was thinking, yeah. A good blazer, a good set to put it over, a trench and some nice trainers and socks. And you've got yourself like your autumn winter outfits and like you're transitioning from summer into, what comes after summer? It's autumn, isn't it? Spring is before summer, autumn, winter. Yeah, autumn, oh, God, I'm being thick. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll do, if anyone actually likes this and it's not just boring, um, I'll do like more of a winter one as it gets colder because this is more obviously like summer, isn't it? But yeah, oh god, I'm sweating. But yeah, I feel like I've shown everything. Oh, one last thing actually. Unitards are like, I feel like they're quite big this summer. And again, this is a good transition piece into autumn. This one's from Shein. Just a little black unitard or romper, whatever you want to call it. It's just goes into shorts and it's a little vest. I feel like this, I wore this on its own all the time. It's so comfy, so flattering. Um, but then again, chuck a blazer over, chuck a leather jacket over, chuck a denim jacket over. I think I'm sure I'll have a TikTok to show you how it fits the rest of my outfit, but that's how it fits. <laughs> just trying to show off my shoes. <laughs> But yeah, literally fits perfect and I love it. Well, yeah, I feel like that's everything. I hope this video has been helpful. And maybe if somebody's wanting to redo the wardrobe, which I used to want to do all the time, and find the staple pieces that they need. Because I feel like this year I'm trying to not follow as many trends. Because if you'll have seen, I've just had loads of clothes on my Instagram. And some of them are still got tags on, which is obviously really bad. But I just want to get my staple outfits. I'll order stuff for my hauls and like to help you lot out and stuff and most likely keep some of but I feel like once you've got your your set pieces and your wardrobe you can just buy little extras to like make it different but I feel like you've just got hundreds of outfits once you've got your set outfits and you like your your base outfits and your lots of jackets to go over the top and some cute shoes but yeah I hope you found this video helpful and not boring please let me know if you'd like another one when it gets colder because I feel like autumn winter is my time to shine all the big coats and stuff I love that that fashion way more than summer fashion but yeah thank you so much for watching please subscribe and like the video and I'll see you on my next one